In this video, we're going to rationalize a denominator using a conjugate that's got variables. In this example, 2 root 3x over 4 minus square root of 5x cubed. Again, we notice that subtraction in there, which means we need to use a conjugate to clear the radical. We can't just multiply by root 5x cubed. So, the conjugate is going to be made up of the same terms with the opposite signs. 4 plus the square root of 5x cubed, numerator and denominator. As we multiply these together, we just have to distribute the numerator through. 4 times 2 is 8 square root of 3x, plus the 2 outside the radical, square root of 3 times 5 is 15, x to the 4th, all over. And again, because they're conjugates, we only have to multiply the first and last together. 4 times 4 is 16. Positive times a negative is a negative. We've got two 5's under the radical, so a 5 comes out. We've got x cubed there twice, so an x cubed can come out. And so we end up with 8 square root of 3x plus 2 square root of 15x to the 4th over 16 minus 5x cubed. We always want to check to see if there's anything we can reduce. The fraction itself, because there's no common factors to factor out, there's not much we can do there. But you might notice the x to the 4th. We can simplify that by dividing the exponent by the index of 2. That's going to pull x squared out, leaving nothing behind. So we get 8 square root of 3x plus 2x squared square root of 15 all over 16 minus 5x cubed. And that becomes our final solution. So variables don't change the patterns at all. Still, if there's a binomial radical expression in the denominator, two terms with any adding or subtracting in there, we're going to simplify by multiplying by the conjugate. Once we clear the radicals, we check if we can reduce any radicals or simplify the fraction.